What's up guys, G24 Guru here, and I'm doing a, um, I'm gonna do a Dead Space 2 Let's Play, um, of the Dead Space 2 demo. I just downloaded it, uh, literally just now, and, yeah, let's try it out. So, um, I really enjoyed the first one, so I not, I haven't seen any coverage or anything of the second one, um, so, yeah. Before I try the demo, uh, it's been out for a, I think like a week or something, but um, I didn't get it because I was too busy playing other games and doing other things in life. So <coughs> just download it now before I try it out. So let's go. EA's terms of service and privacy policy. I agree. Okay. Play demo. You can only play on normal. So what is this? Casual, enemies are weak, normal, survivalist for veteran dead space players. Ammo and health are less plentiful and enemies are more deadly. Zelo, ammo and health are very scarce and enemies will brutalize you. Hardcore. Finish the game. What, what does hardcore mean? It must be really difficult. There's five difficulty levels. Wow. <clears throat> uh, until Logo Valley appears in the center of the screen. That's uh, about there. By the 25th century, Earth's resources were ravaged, consumed, exhausted. Desperate and on the verge of extinction. He cast out into the void of space and discovered rich new worlds waiting to be cracked open and stripped bare. All of Earth became devoted to this effort. The planet crackers were built, the USG Ishimura the first and most famous. Planet cracking became routine. Its spoils kept us alive. Eventually, greedy eyes fell upon Aegis Seven, Restricted for centuries for reasons unknown, Greed and corruption saw to the demise of caution. There, buried beneath the surface, an artifact. Oh, there's Isaac. The red marker. Long lost and long forgotten. The religion I once called my own had found its holy grail. The key to human immortality. Or so we thought. Ouch. The first one was pretty scary in parts. Uh, not majorly scary, but um, the ending made me jump. Oh my god, and this part as well. Oh, in the first game. Oh my god, when I saw this. Yeah, this really. Uh, that was really creepy, that part, definitely. He just keeps smashing his head against the wall, then when you get near him, he uh, does one last final like hit and just his head explodes. And pretty nasty. Oh shit. Within hours, the Ishimura went dark. The corporation dispatched a small repair crew to check on its investment. Seems like everyone is trying to pack in a hurry. Yeah, Ishimura, this was in the first game. The first game was beast. I loved the first game. He had something special about the Ishimura. I wish I could talk to you. So this is a full recap. Oh yeah, this part, this was the end. This made me jump so bad. In the darkness, Isaac oh, I didn't show it. I'm not going to spoil the ending though of the first one in case anyone hasn't played it, but yeah. This is a long introduction to, to a demo. Dead by her own hand, she was an apparition of the marker. Isaac engineered his escape. But everything else was destroyed. Uh oh. 
The next chapter for Isaac Clark begins. So I guess that was a complete recap. He wakes in a hospital on Titan Station, an Earth Gov metropolis on Saturn's largest moon. Isaac has survived, but his mind is no longer safe. Okay, so maybe we'll get to play now. L2 to run, R2. I can't even remember how to play. Okay. Wow, the graphics look amazing. Oh, wow. Yeah, so that's to aim. That's to shoot. Sprint. Alternate. Aim. Tutorial menu. Press select to view your inventory. Objective tutorials. Resume. Talk back and forth between these menus. Oh, uh, yeah. I remember. Okay. Rendezvous with Dana's team. I don't know who this woman is, but she's helped me make it this far. Trust isn't a fact here. She's helped me survive, and that's what matters. She says she has a cure for these hallucinations and a way off this space station. Nothing to lose when meeting her. Okay, so we're gonna go meet some random lady. So I've got a bit of ammo, not very much. Javelin spears, line racks, pulse rounds, and four weapons. In the first game, I did the trophy for using one gun, so I only used the plasma cutter throughout the whole game. So I don't know any of the other guns, pretty much. I know the line gun, I did use the line gun once, but um, the line car was like really fun to use like, alone anyway. Ooh, ooh, that was nasty. It's these, seriously, these graphics are absolutely unbelievable. Wow, they're, they're really amazing. It should look really good in the recording too, hopefully. Okay. The, the the really cool thing about the first game was the atmosphere that it had when you're walking through these rooms and stuff. It was really, really quite scary at points. Um, there's a lot of jumpy shit like that. Oh, fuck. What the fuck? Lovely. Okay. Right, that, that was pretty scary. I'm not going to lie. Made me jump. <laughs> okay, let's run through this. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay. Keep going through the rooms. Oh, fuck. Okay. All the rooms look exactly the same. Another room that looks exactly the same. Oh, fuck. Ah! And um, the cool thing about Dead Space is uh, to kill the to kill the enemies, you can't just keep shooting them. So it's not one of those generic shooters. You have to shoot off their limbs to kill them. You can't um, kill them any other way. So you can't if you keep shooting them in the body or in the in the head, nothing's going to happen. You need to shoot off their limbs. So that's the only way to kill them. And I think that's that was probably the best thing about the game. It made it really different from all other shooters that were out there. Um, also made it a lot more strategic because certain bosses and that you had to figure out how to take their limbs off and stuff. Okay, come on. There we go. See, I took his arms off and then he died really quick because I took his arms off. Okay, so if you stomp on the enemies after you kill them, you get some um, upgrades from it. See, he's got like some kind of armor on his leg. So I need to try and shoot his arms. Oh crap. Oh no, don't kill me! Ah! Come on, break his neck. Break. Oh, nice. Oh, fuck. This guy is fucking difficult. Shoot that leg off. Oh, God. That was epic fail. Fail of epic proportions there. That was awful. Because I've only got five bullets left for this weapon. Oh, God. There we go. Quickly stomp him out. Yeah, bitch. Ah, oh, fucking hell, this is pretty scary. Oh god, he ripped my legs off. Oh, that was great, Lawrence, hold on. <coughs> Whatever. <coughs> I 
Planes get used to controls, kind of suck. Wow, the graphics are absolutely amazing. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna pick up this game. Whether I rent it or buy it, I'll definitely play it. So, so yeah. Uh, okay, shoot the limbs. There you go, stomp them out. Fucking mother. Mm. Oh. Yeah, stomped on his face. Alright, uh, I think. Well, there are more guys in this room. Okay. Yeah, I thought that was really cool, made it completely different to all other shooters, was the fact that you, the only way you could kill the, the creatures was by shooting off their limbs. You couldn't just keep shooting <coughs> into their chest and expect to kill them quickly. You would eventually kill them, but it just wouldn't be fun, because it would just take so many uh, bullets. You have to be smart and uh, shoot, shoot off the limbs. Oh crap, one behind me. Ah, uh, fuck. So fuck away from me. Oh god. I'm scared. There we go. Just motherfucker. Get the credits. Okay. Mm, no. Stasis recharge. I already have full stasis. I haven't even used st stasis at all. So that's the thing that you can slow slow down the enemies, can't you? I think you f you can freeze them with stasis or stasis, or however you say it. I don't know. Oh shit! There you know. Slowly rotate to find blue weak points, then press X. Sorry, what? Oh, right, okay. I understand. You have to turn the little arrow around until it goes blue, and then press X when it goes blue. Uh, just did it there. It was close. Grip enabled objects. Okay, so what do I do? Oh. Not, you don't want stasis recharge, don't need that. Or do we? Do we need to like slow it down? Maybe. Like that? But then what has that done? What? Oh right, I see. Okay, grab this down. Okay, and then quickly go to the next one. Bring it down. Like that. Now what? Okay, there's more. Okay. Uh, quickly go to the next one. Aim and press triangle. Oh, okay, now we use stasis. And then bring this one down. And then bring this one down. Yep. Any more? One up there. There we go. I think that's all of them. Oh crap, there's more. Yeah, I think I'm doing something wrong here, but I'm not sure what. But I'll freeze it. Quickly run around to that and bring that down. There we go. There we go.